How you doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. And tonight we're going to be doing a little bit of espresso stouty action. Um, from a company called Emily's. Um, it's a Dutch uh, brewery, Emily's Espresso Stout, stout with coffee added. Um, I have a little bit of uh, history with Emily's. I've had a, quite a few of their beers. Um, a Russian Imperial. Mm, a couple of them. I can't remember all the ones I've had, but... One of them, there it's they call it Imperial Doppelbach. Frickin' blew my doors off. I've only had it once in my life, and it might have been the best Doppelbach I've ever had, and rank up there in probably my like top twenty all timers. But I've only had it once. So anybody out there who knows where to get Emily's Imperial Doppelbach, please let me know because I'd like to get some because I haven't found it since I had it that one time. Anyway, we're gonna be doing uh, Emily's. Uh, espresso coffee stout, stout with uh, coffee added. Um, it's a product of Holland, 9.5% alcohol. Um, and uh, Emily's, Zuis Beer, uh, import company stuff on the front. Um, bottom produced by Brewery Emily's in the Netherlands. And uh, on the side here, it just says the Emily's espresso stout is enhanced by a blend of fine Italian espresso beans used in the brewing process. It boasts a blend of 90% uh, Ara Arabia beans and 10% Robusta, which combined with, combined to give the Emily East Espresso Stout an extra spicy full body palette. And that's pretty much it. Uh, label wise, I dig it. It's kind of like ghetto, but ghetto in a good way. Looks like an old Abbey style ale. I know you probably can't see that because it's too far away, but um, yeah, I mean, all in all, cool label. And that's pretty much it, nondescript. Really not much else going on. Um, so let's see what it has going on taste-wise. That's a dark beer right there. My dogs are playing right next, right up the top of the steps. You can probably hear them. Ooh, bottle condition. There's a decent amount of funk in there. Um, didn't expect that to happen. Didn't say anything about being bottle condition. So, um, nice little pour. Um, probably had about a pinky size head of, uh, Piggy's size head, um, that's um, darkish beige, um, bordering on coffee style color. Uh, we're seeing decently a nice creaminess on top. Really, really dark. I mean, that's dark beer. I don't even know if I'd call it red. It's just dark as hell. Uh, got some decent amount of sediment in the bottom. Like I said, I didn't know it was bottle condition, so kind of gave it a, almost a full pour there. But I'm not. A, I don't hate on drinking sediment. It doesn't bother me, so not going to bother me one bit. Um, yeah, it looks pretty enticing. Let's see what she has nose-wise. Definitely smell the coffee. It smells like a uh, Russian Imperial Stout. <sighs> More mocha chocolatey coffee-wise than cho uh, coffee. Like, definitely a lot of chocolate. A bit of coffee. A little bit of... Um, yeastiness and just uh yeah a ton of chocolate actually uh, and malts dark malts roasted malts it smells really really good yeah it's gonna be a good beer i already know it is cheers it's good way different than the nose ton of coffee ton of coffee um, really dry, really, really, really dry, like almost like surprisingly dry. I mean, you go and to drink in a stout, you expect some dryness, but there's a lot of dryness there. Nice mouthfeel, nice and creamy. Nice hint of chocolate, not as much as down the nose. A lot of espresso, a lot of coffee in taste. I mean, this is, you say it's an espresso stout, this is an espresso stout. Um, zero booze whatsoever. It's older too. That's one thing I forgot to mention. You know, going off the five-year rule, this is probably a 2008 bottle, so it's got some age on it. So I mean, if it did have a little bit of heat on it, it would probably dissipate from there. Mm. It's a good beer. Um, expect a little bit more from the nose, uh, more in line with what I like, should I say. Based off the nose, it's still a really good beer, but it, it had a nice amount of maltiness in the nose, and its sweetness is 
it's it's sweet, but it's an, it's not as sweet as I would like it to be. Um, and like that dryness is it's not off putting, but it's it's definitely pre- prevalent. So it just kind of breaks it up as far as balance goes. It's not super well balanced because of that dryness. But overall, it's a good beer, especially for it being an espresso stout, a coffee espresso stout. If you were to blind, it would not blindfold me, but if you were to tell me, I'm going to give you a stout that is brewed with espresso beans and coffee added, and this is what I taste, it's what I expect to taste. So based on what it's telling me it is, I absolutely taste what I think it is. What I think it is. So um, in that aspect, you got to give them a thumbs up. Overall, all the beers I've had from them, even though some of them haven't been like blowing me away, they're all good. I've never had a bad beer from these guys, so... You know, that's definitely something to give them some kudos for. Rating wise, um, stout wise, espresso stout wise, beer wise, uh, I'd probably give it like an 87. Uh, 87. Um, as far as overall, um, availability, I'm going to give it like a 1 because I've only seen it one place and I've been eyeing it for months and I figured I might as well pick it up, but I've never seen it anywhere else before. Value wise, I think I paid like five or six bucks for this, and it's a single, not in a four pack. For me, that's not too bad. You know what I mean? For a single, I mean, if it was in a four pack, I expect it to be in the high teens, which it'd be in line for something of this quality. So, value wise, I give it like a six or seven. Seven. Let's give it a seven. So, yeah, like 87 overall. You know what I mean? Two in availability, northeastern Pennsylvania, northeastern United States. Keep that in mind. And value wise, I give it like a seven. So, yeah, overall, really good beer. Just that little bit of dryness probably throws me off a little bit. But um, density-wise, um, flavor-wise, it's pretty nice. I just would like it with just a little bit more sweetness to it, that's all. So, yeah, I'm Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Another review in the books. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. If you didn't enjoy the review or you didn't find it entertaining or hated it or whatever, Please leave some comments in the comment section below. Um, if you do like the review and you like our channel in general, please share um, with everybody else in the internet universe and like and all that fun stuff. If you would like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All those places at Massive Beers. Um, we're probably most active on Instagram. We do a lot of stuff on there. Uh, we post pictures of beers that we're drinking that we're not reviewing. We post pictures of beer that we're going to review. We post review updates. We post contests. We post um, random shenanigans. Um, so, yeah, if you're an Instagram person, definitely follow us there. So, yeah, another one down. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're drinking a good beer. No, hopefully you're drinking a great beer right now. And uh, hopefully we see you next time. Cheers.